Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan 343 here. We have something kind of a little different here for you guys. With it being harvest season, uh, we know better to do a product review on a X9 combine that you can get from your local John Deere dealer, as I did. So this is the uh, 75th self-propelled series. Actually, it's the 75th anniversary. This is the Prestige Collection. This is the Ertl uh, version. It is the, what scale is this? It's the 132nd. So it's a little bit bigger than a 164, but just a little bit smaller than a 116. Although the 116s are cool. I haven't seen one of these yet out of the package. So let's check this out. I wanna, thanks for everyone to help set this awesome video up uh, for you guys. So those of you that are looking for cool Christmas gifts, Hey, it may be the middle of September as I'm filming this, but maybe you're watching this the middle of December or maybe even Christmas Eve when you're watching this and you're like, oh, I don't know what to get. Look, go down to your local AHW or John Deere, go into there and they've got all kinds of models and stuff. You can probably find these online and rule King sometimes. Go down there and check it out. We're going to unbox this, let you get some close-up look of it so you can see what it looks like. I can give you some in-depth of how I think it looks. I'm going to be keeping the box because this is actually going to be going um, in my office when I get some shelves completed. Uh, we might take it out and leave, but I will be keeping the box along with my other boxes. That way, when I, uh, if I ever do decide to sell it, which I probably won't because the X9 is super, super cool. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get you guys a close up here as we unbox this cool combine. This video is made possible by 343. So you get the combine. This is the track version. I do believe they have this in wheeled version. You get a draper head, a corn head, which is folding. We're going to take a look at some of the little artifacts. There's a mirror back there I think you have to put on. So we're just going to take this apart. Very, very simple. Now you could buy this for a collector. You could buy this for a someone that needs to learn how to cut the tape off stuff. Got a knife somewhere here. So. This is kind of cool. I'm going to start collecting again. Uh, you know, it, it didn't actually have to be a metal stuff, but we're going to start checking out tractors and combines and all that good stuff. See if I can get this to slide out of here. So I can show you. We're going to set this box down here. I'm going to keep it because I want to be able to put this back in it. All right. So what we have now is the basically trays that hold this in here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on its back. It is take that off. I'm going to set that down there because we're going to basically put everything in here. Now we're going to start with the heads. All right. And this is the big draper head. This does bend and contour as you can see there uh, looks like your reel is not movable it does have some uh, tape around it which I'm going to leave so there's the head oh and it moves a oh, part of it moves <laughs> I'm sure it moves here yeah it's got some little actuators on there oh yeah there we go we just gotta have enough so it does move the augers move so. detail here on the back Got all your, your augers going across your wheels, which are plastic. You got some little good hookups here. The deal here, which looks like you can, oh yeah. So you can flip these teeth back so that they will stick out, which like I said, I was going to leave, which these do come off. I'm gonna take one off here and cut this plastic off real quick. 
I'll just do one of these. It's just to hold the fingers inside. That's all it is. Then I'll put it so back in here. Right in, in first. All right, there we go. I was like, why didn't that line up? And that piece, and then these you can flip out so that it gives you the option of having the, like the newer drapers have. So as you can see, they go around. Now this is, you can leave them in like this. We can tape them and they will go around like the new augers do. Now is this, this doesn't look to be adjustable. So you can't lift the draper or the reel up or bring it in or bring it out or anything like that. Yeah, so basically they just, they flip out on their own. So that's the draper head. That's a big one. That's probably a 50 footer. Now here's the corn head and it's, it's well built too. So you've got here on the back, I'll get you guys a close up here. So, you guys so here on the back, we've got some good detail with the uh, marker lights. You got the PTO shafts right here. You've got uh, the augers here or the hydraulic deals, which this should fold. Just have to kind of figure out how you do it. It's supposed to fold. There you go. You just got to snap that locking piece off. Just kind of come out and over. Just got to line up your pieces there. There you've got a folding corn head. It's got little tabs you're supposed to rest these on, but they they don't rest too good. All right, so there is your folding corn head. So as you can see, you've got your markers here as it unfolds. So that's cool. And you can unfold it. You can leave it up like this for display if you wanted to, or you could fold it right back down. And it locks right in with these little teeth. With these little teeth. So there is the corn head, <clears throat> which is a little bit smaller than the draper. All right, so here okay, is no. the big guy. And we're just gonna let you look at this side here real quick. There is a mirror, a couple mirrors in here, which we're not gonna put those out just now. Of course, the hopper doesn't fold in. Here That'd it is. Cool made it it's like you got a ladder that moves in and out. It's like the head comes up and goes down. So you got an articulating head. The tracks, let's fold this in real quick. If you put some pressure on it, they will move. It's like the tracks are not centered on there, right? But that, that does work. It probably works better on carpet. Looks like the uh, axle is moving. On the bottom, got your chopper. Now this is Ertl John Deere. This is a 2002 model. Of course, your auger back here folds and snaps in. So you can have your auger in like that. You can have that logger like so. You've got some good detail. Does the cab doors open or anything? Don't look like the cab doors open. Does anything open back here? Oh, here we go. Parker lights on the side, they fall right out. They just, you just push up in there, little holes. I'll pop them back in here. But uh, here you can see the fan on the side. So that opens up. That is a metal door. Is anything open over here? Doesn't here, look to that open on this uh, where the the fan is. So, and that just snaps back together. For a display model, I think it's pretty cool. I think the uh, ladder folding in, the head moving up and down looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we hook the draper head up to it. Just basically goes in here. Will it hold itself up? It don't look like it. Don't look like it has enough enough weight, so it will not hold the head up. That's the only thing. See, it's not holding that head up. But if you want to display it like this, you could more than likely do that. You could display it with your auger out if you had a big, you know, area. You could put your auger card over here. So let's try to see how it does with the corn head. 
Now what you're going to do here do is you're going to, these little hooks just go here and these little points down here go on the front of the head. So you're just going to kind of push these in and snap it on and there's your corn head. The cool part about this, as I roll it towards you, well, if it works, the auger moves, but it's not working. There's little wheels under here. There you go. Well, if you can see that, the auger's moving. Put the extended pipe out. So this makes for a cool little shelf display, and that's what's going to be, for me, I might get some corn and put in here, bring a cob home, because uh, I am actually going to be starting harvest uh, with a friend uh, from church uh, soon. So we're going to have to test this because it doesn't really roll too good with these tracks on this plywood. I'm going to try to push it down just a little bit just so you can see that, is that track moving? No, that track's not moving. So I don't know what the deal is. Now the only thing about this is it will not hold the head up. And I don't like that about this. Come on, Ertl, you could have made this. Okay, there it will, but then it drops. So if you want the head up, you're probably gonna have to um, glue it somehow. I don't see the auger over here turning. Little auger pipes on the end, they do not turn. But it does fold up like so. And another thing that is kind of odd about it, it doesn't stay in its spot real well. Got to kind of push them in there just like so. So, I mean, you could display it like this if you wanted to. That'd be kind of cool. Will it hold itself up there with the weight centered more? No, so you'd almost have to build something underneath of this. See, it's just the cylinders in here are just not very good enough to hold this, as you can see here on the bottom. Now, the cool part is it does have, and I just noticed this, it does have a little tow hitch back here. So, if you had a little wagon or something, of course, these are independent suspension. The tracks do move like this, so for ground types. I think it'd be kind of cool to have, you know, the auger or the corn head folded like that and maybe one like that or have it folded like this and one up if you had a big enough shelf. So, or have it folded feeder house up. Way. That's what I'm trying to say, feeder house. Uh, so far the cab doesn't come open. Of course your auger folds out, like I said, and the tip of the auger folds back. That does snap, that does hold its position. Um, the side again over here opens, does not hold itself open, but does open. Very cool there. It would be cool to see one of these other open or maybe even the, the back open, which I don't, it looks like it might actually. Open this up real quick. Does this open? Oh, it does, look at that. Okay. So something else new we figured out here just now is this piece opens and you get a ladder. So you can fold that up, fold that down. It'd be cool if that caused this to stay open so you can see all that in there and how cool that that looks. So yeah, check it out guys. Very cool little kit um, with the corn header and the draper. I'm actually just gonna put this corn header on here, like have so. a mirror uh, here that you could put in too. Let me go get that and I'll okay, show you so how to So in your box, in. you're gonna get a little bag right here with some little, little mirrors in them. And I gotta figure out, I just go just like that and they snap in. Now you can bend them in I'll go ahead and put these in. So if you want to put them back in the box, they will bend in, bend out. Actually, really makes the combine look a lot better. That looks really cool. I like how that looks. So I'll get you a good close up of that, of the mirrors. They just snap in. You can push them all the way back into the cab. So when it's in the box, you can pull them out for display. 
And they're, they're, I mean, they're exact mirrors. Do they, are, do they work as mirrors? I mean, they got little reflections on them, but. Oh, that looks pretty cool, guys. I think that's, that's pretty cool die cast. I think this would make a perfect griff for someone that collects, a farmer, a friend, a child even could play with this. Um, so go check them out, link in the description. Uh, again, you get the, uh, the header here, the draper, which uh, has uh, some deals here in it, which helps the, just notice it's got a couple screws here that help with the bending or whatever. John Deere X9 track combine. I really do believe they have this in the tired version. If you're looking for tires instead of tracks, uh, it comes just as it just as it looks. The real thing comes with the, <clears throat> the big 50 foot draper head, uh, the big corn head. It comes in this really awesome, cool case with the 75th anniversary. Uh, this will more likely be displayed in my office some point in time. Um, I collect John Deere. I had a bunch of John Deere tractors when I was a little kid. I think one year for Christmas, I got like 20 different John Deere toys, implements, tractors, combines, you name it. I think my first combine was a 9500, um, which is crazy because I've actually worked with a 9500 combine uh, before in real life. So go check these out. Uh, we're going to be checking out some more stuff from John Deere, so make sure you stay tuned. We're going to start a whole playlist here of John Deere uh, collectible toys and collectibles and all that stuff. So check it out first item up here is the john deere x9 1100 from ertl check them out at your local john deere or uh ahw alliance tractor in your local area thanks for watching guys see you in the next